I did the thigh and the back part of the thigh, and the shoe, kneecap, the upper thigh, and calf, the knee, the back of the knee, I mean the back of the calf, the front of the shin, the knee, the thigh, the back of the thigh, did the same thing here, to the back, the back part, the chest plate, the shoulder guards, the bicep, the tricep, the forearm, and that part. The vertebrae part for the ear and the ear. And all these go coupled with the uh, wetsuit, swimming suit. And that allows stretchability and to get in and out of the bot. Um, I have to put the offices uh, alongside so that it fits within it to get the bot to stand. The offices has aluminum of uh, articulated ROMs for the biaxial uh, ROM. I'm going to also use the biaxial ROM for it to drive the back of the, the calf, the calf and the heel. As far as the, um, I'm attached it to the heel for the panning, the pitch like this, and also forward to patch around the uh, feet, the foot. And um, the knee, I'm going to be using two joints for the knee, one at the top, one at the bottom. So for the kneecap, not allow room, that's going to be two curved noodles on both sides, so I know where it's for. Um, like I said, the bicep room, I'm going to use the chest, the chest, um, oh, this is chest, underneath the chest guard for the um, lifting and the neck, for the neck, the articulated neck. I'm also going to use the articulated uh, arms, elbows, joints for the, for, uh, the oh, this is elbow joints for the um, coils. This is all going to be attached to the wetsuit, um, and I, I have to do the abdominals, uh, the vertebrae, the abdominals, and I'm going to finish with that, and the helmet, to do the helmet and the faceplate uh, separately. Just to wrap the coils first, then once I wrap the copper coil, then I'll do the iron wire, and then I'll do the permanent magnet filament, which goes in between the coils inside of the shaft, the air, the air shaft of the coils. Um, uh, I'm going to add permanent magnets to allow it to make it transformable, and to move like this is the shoulder guard. And this flattens out, it can move, this should be able to articulate move inside here to allow it to bend as it flies up, this is a linear motor, to move it upward, I'm going to use permanent magnets within a set in a row, within the air gap, I'm just waiting right now to harden the top with rubber, and, um, and around it with rubber so I can allow flexibility, so I can open up the air gap with a piece of scissors and a knife, and then slide, um, I'm going to use aluminum with graphite on it, and I'm also going to apply uh, permanent magnets, um, I'm going to uh, phase the aluminum with the graphite on it with the current that's flowing from the inductor, and um, I'm going to use a capacitor, 400, uh, uh, 50 uh, single phase capacitor to go with it, uh, DC capacitor, motor, uh, motor capacitor that they use for fans and stuff like that. Um, the neck I'm going to do and the face guard I'm going to do. And once I wrap it with the iron wire, then I'm coming through, I'm going to do it with the aluminum uh, back and the copper front. So, uh, actually I think the copper back and aluminum front. So it's going to be like two on one side, so the bottom side, which is the back of the person, is going to be um, uh, copper back. Whereas uh, in the back of the armor, the exterior is going to be copper, but the interior, internal, in the ear gap of the coil is going to be aluminum. And then the top part of the armor, which is exterior, the frontal of the, the, the armor, is going to be uh, uh, aluminum inside the ear gap and copper for the top. This would enable them both to move together in unison. <sighs> so. Go real fast and stuff like this, and uh, you know, so I guess running too.